Hey, fourth grade math. I don't really know if you can see my face. <laughs> the sun is like, whoop, right into me. But welcome to your math lesson for today. Guys, this is an easy lesson. Woohoo! Super easy lesson. All we're doing now is you guys already know how to multiply any number here by two numbers down here. And now we're learning how to do it with three numbers. Woohoo! Okay, so here you go. What I want you to do is, and I'm going to wait for you. I got some orange juice I want to drink, okay? Do letter A. Do letter A because that's review. I want to see if you you get the right answer, okay? I want you to see if you get the right answer. So go ahead and do letter A. On page Okay, here we go. Let's see what you got. Your answer should be 24,624. 24,644. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if, um, if you didn't get it right, let's figure out why. We did two times two is what, Scarlett? Four. Two times four is what, Piano? Eight. Two times three is what, Holly? Six. Put our zero right here. Seven times two, Jayla? 14. Put your one right here. Seven times four plus one, Sama? 29. Put your two right here. Seven times three plus two, Fernanda? 23. Okay, so what do we have? Four plus zero is four. Eight plus four is 12. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 9 is 16. 1 plus 3 is 4 and 2. 24,624 is your answer. Okay? So now, guys, it's the same thing over here. It's just one more step, one more possible. So let me show you this one. This is letter F, so you can do it with me, okay? Get your paper out and do it with me. 3 times 2, Keanu. 6. 3 times 3, Kiata. Nine, three times one. I'm gonna do that one, Miss Shasta. Put your zero here and go to the eight, the second number. Eight times two, Sama. Sixteen. Eight times three plus one, Fernanda. Twenty-four. Eight times one plus two, Scarlett. Ten. Okay, now though, you're gonna go into the third number. Ooh, guys, look what we did. 24 plus one, I forgot the one. I'm so sorry, erase that, erase that. 25, perdón, 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 okay? 24 plus one is 25. Okay, now we go down here. Now instead of doing one zero, we do two zeros, okay? Put two zeros. So on the, this one right here, you put one zero. On this one right here, you put two zeros and then start here with your new number. Six. Six times two, I'm gonna do this one, is 12. Cross this out and put your one. Six times three is 18 plus one is 19. Cross this out and put a one. Six times one is six plus one is seven. 
and there is your uh, your numbers to add right there, okay? So the only new thing is these two zeros. Six plus zero plus zero is six. Nine plus six is 15. One plus three is four plus five is nine plus two is 11. One plus zero is what? One plus nine is 10. And one plus one is two plus seven is nine, okay? So your answer is 90,156. Okay, so I want you to try letter G. Try letter G and then we'll do it on the board together. Remember your two zeros, okay? Go ahead and do letter G. Okay, since there's a bunch of ones in there, I think you might be done. Here we go, let's do it. Eight times one, eight. Eight times five, Sama? Forty. Eight times nine, Keanu? Seventy-two plus four, seventy-six. Put one zero. One times one, one. One times five, five. One times nine, cross this out because we can use that this time. One times nine, nine. Now, what, how many zeros do we play here, Fernanda? Two. One times one, one. One times five, five. One times nine, nine. Okay, here we go, let's add it up. Eight plus zero plus zero, eight. Zero plus one plus zero, one. Six plus five is 11 plus one is 12. One plus seven is eight plus nine is 17. Plus five is 22. Two plus nine is 11. You have 112,218. Okay? If you still don't understand, that's okay. Just let me know. Okay? And I'll help you some more. Look at number two on your word problem. I'm not gonna do the word problems with you, but I'm gonna make sure that you know if you need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, okay? Look at this one, letter A. Faith Christian Academy bought 15 rose bushes. Ooh, pretty, okay. They're the arbustos de las rosas. I get cute. Each rose bush cost $9.95. How much was the cost of the rose bushes in all? And you're like, oh, Michelle, in all means add. Okay, but not in this case. I'm sorry. It doesn't. Because it's 15 rose bushes and cada rose bush costs $9.95. So what do you have to do? Cada uno costs $9.95. So you're going to, what do you think? Kiara? Multiply. Okay, you got to multiply that one. So go ahead and do that and tell me what you get. Look at letter B. Tamara has four violin lessons each month. Ooh, I wish I could learn how to play the violin. How about you guys? Like this, right? Like this? How do you hold it? Like this? Um, the cost of all four lessons is $48. So the cost of all the, the lessons together is $48. At, what, at that rate, what is the cost per lesson? One lesson. Okay, so she pays $48 for four lessons. So what's she gonna pay for one? Do you add, subtract, multiply, or divide? What do you guys think? Tell me. It's divide. I don't know okay, where I was divide. because somebody called me. But anyway, it's 48 for four, and then you have to divide to get your price for one because it's going to be smaller, okay, and not multiply because that would be a huge, a huge number, okay? You don't need help on anything else, so go for it. Have a great day.